What's going on everyone? It is your boy Touchtone DSG and welcome to five reasons why you should switch to Patch App DX and never look back. Number one is color customization. Color customization on Patch App DX is truly like one of a kind experience because you can actually take your hardware and have it be like stored routings and also color code that. And this is what I mean. So as you see here, I got Patch App DX pulled up and I have it mirroring my interface, which is the SSL Big Six. But what I can do is color code everything that I like. So here's my hardware along this side here. And as you see, I've color coded a couple of different pieces of hardware and I've also color coded the Big Six itself. So one thing color coding does is make it really easy to spot a lot of hardware if you have it or know where certain pieces of gear is. I think that's really efficient because that's what it's all about is definitely being efficient and this most definitely covers it. So the way to do that is if you go to your hardware section here and you bring that up, you got these color wheels right here and whatever piece of hardware that you have or even uh, lines on your interface, you can actually hit that color wheel and bring that up and select that. To me, that's pretty freaking rad. Uh, just because I like to stay organized like most engineers you guys know how we are So once you get everything color-coded it is going to be pretty easy just to move it over as you see here I can bring my portico boom put that on my master bus take my API Put that on channels one and two where I record and there we go simple as that Number two is really cool to me, and that is iOS and iPad compatibility. What this brings is reliable connectivity, allowing a wireless multiple touch screen. This is really cool. So what you do on this phone in real time updates on the software itself. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna screen record on this as well, and I'll show you on the screen. As you see on the screen here, I have all of my big six, let's just say I have my Synth EQ here, I have my Portico here, and then we take an API here, an API here, right? Let's just do that. All right, so what we have on the app, say if I wanted to go ahead and just clear everything. So once I press this in the, in the app DX, it's actually gonna clear on the computer as well. Check this out. Boom, did you see that? That is pretty cool. I also have a quick strip option. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'll talk about that in a second. But a quick strip option allow me to bring everything back. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and choose my default, which is the big six mirror. I pull that up, boom, happens in real time. This is incredibly powerful. I love this because users of the old patch system or the software, you know we had to use the actual dedicated software on the computer to do that and move through screens and whatnot. So now we have a really reliable companion that is super intuitive and it works incredibly well. Also remember this works on an iPad. So if you do have an iPad, this works with that as well. And it also works with the Apple Pencil. Okay, so the third reason I think that the Patch App DX makes life so much easy is the quick strip options. Now they added three more, and those for you that don't know what the quick strip option is, let me show you. So say here on the screen, I have a vocal template for just like a vocal recording. And as you see, I named it here, uh, vocal recording, I saved it. It's really easy. You come down here to the quick strip option, I right click on this, you hit edit, and there you have it. Let's go to option three. Let's go down to vocal recording. Boom, it's easy peasy. Also, what you can do is color code this. So let's just say I wanna make this one purple. Choose color. We wanna make this one yellow. We wanna make this one yellow. Choose color. We wanna make this one red. Choose color. And there you have it, hit save. There it is. So now not only do you have quick strip options, you also have the color customization to go with it. So it creates that muscle memory. So as soon as you look down there, you're already gonna know, hey, let's go to Big Six Recording. We'll go right over here, click the yellow end, and there we go, Big Six Recording. You can also do that from the app, which is really, really cool. So let's just say we wanna do the vocal recording. Boom, change it on here, change it in real time. This is so cool. Number four is really, really cool to me. So we have analog recalls, 
tracking recalls, and we also have session notes. That is dope, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So on the patch app itself, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this all out. What I'm gonna do is I've already pre-taken some, some pictures here and I saved it in a particular session, right? Let's just say we wanna pull up uh, a session here that I already have. Let's just say big six recording, right? Well, with that, you can go here to analog recall. Say there was a specific set of settings that you had for big six recall. Let's go here. Let's go analog recalls. As you see, there's nothing there. But on the patch app itself, what I can do is take a picture. So I'm gonna hit analog recalls, boom. And there's nothing there. So I'm going to take a picture here. And let's just say I wanna take a picture of this right here. Let's just say that's a strip. Boom, take a picture, use photo. Now I'm gonna save that photo and it updates in real time on the analog recalls on the actual software itself. That is so cool. And it does this for every session. So let's just say we wanna put some session notes in here. And I say, was off beat. Boom, save that to notes. Now that's gonna come up here on session notes. Gotta love it. Same thing with tracking. So the tracking is more for like mic recording and whatnot. So let's go to tracking here. And then let's go to take a picture and take a picture of that compressor. Boom. We're gonna use that photo. There we go. Save. Now that updates in real time on there. And all we have to do is just hit save. So let's just say this is the default big six mirror. I go here, nothing, right? On the analog recalls. And you can also access it uh, from the from the app itself. So if you wanted to do analog recalls, you can just tap here at the top and it also bring it up. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to vocal recording. I already pre took some pictures. Let's just say this was a session that I had four days ago. Let's just say the client wants a revision, okay? So what I'm gonna do, everything is stored in here. It's also gonna be updated and stored on the software itself. So I'm gonna go to analog recalls. Boom, there's everything. So let's just bring that up. There it is. Let's bring it up on the software. There it is, yay. Super cool. I love this feature. This is probably one of my favorite features here on the new DX. This is probably my favorite feature. All right, and I'm really excited about this fifth one. I'm looking forward to this the most, uh, and that's the DX Bridge. Now, what the DX Bridge is, it's basically an insert plugin that you put in your DAW, and you have the command to recall specific routing uh, upon the session start, and it is truly an experience that you won't forget. So it's basically a plugin, which is really cool. Let's take a look at it. So that's the bridge right here, and I mean, Obviously it's not out yet, but as you can see, this is gonna be really cool and it's gonna work seamlessly uh, with everything else. And to me, I, this ecosystem is basically built to be efficient and for you to thrive in. It's almost like the Apple ecosystem to where everything just works seamlessly between each other. That's exactly what this is. Now let's look at the key differences between the Patch DX and the old Patch software. So these are some of the differences here and you can kind of check them out. If you want to go ahead and pause the screen and you can check these out. To me, this speaks for itself. I'm really glad to be on board and be one of the beta testers for this. It has been an absolute pleasure talking about Zoom and and out. I really, really love the analog recall and the tracking recall. That is completely dope. So the DX will be dropping in November 2022. For the Bridge DX, that will be coming later this year. So the Patch DX is a premium upgrade and there's gonna be three different licenses. So you're gonna have a subscription, an annual, and a perpetual license and you'll have the pick between your choice. And I'm so glad they did that. And they just didn't make you pay every month if you don't like that. So a person like me, I'm definitely going perpetual. You'll also be able to try the patch for 30 days before you can purchase it, which is another plus. Talk about really standing behind your product. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this is gonna be awesome for us patch users, especially with the DX remote. I did have my iPad, but that somehow got broken. That happened. So I wanted to show you guys, but soon enough, you'll see it.
All right, that's gonna do it for me in the Patch DX. I hope you like what you saw. I know I did. And until the next one, guys, peace. Mm -hmm.